picture this. The sunlight cascades down in beautiful bright rays, warming you up from the inside as you sip on your margarita. You can head on down to the vast Azua beaches, stretching for miles on end. And once you've basked in the sun to your heart's content, you and your family can explore theme parks, lagoons and museums. If that sounds too good to be true, well, prepare to be surprised, in all the best ways, by Florida. Welcome back to Wonderfully Lost, a travel community for parents by parents. For today's video, we're heading down to sunny Florida and counting down our picks for the best spots for a family vacay. So let's get right into it. Number 7. Amelia Island With 13 miles of vast, pristine beaches, forests and a plethora of outdoor recreational activities, we're starting off strong with Amelia Island. If your family is on the lookout for an adrenaline rush, head on down to Egan's Creek Greenway in Fernandina Beach and hike on the trails there. Just a heads up, you might see some bobcats and alligators on the hike, so don't let that freak you out too much. Located right next to Fernandina Beach, you'll find the Pirate Playground, which is nothing short of heaven for children. There, your kids can experience art, music and nature through a series of fun activities. On Amelia Island's main village, you'll find plenty of shops and restaurants, including the Villaville Colour Toy Store, where your kids can make their own toys. Number 6. St Augustine Often, the serene destinations in Florida get overlooked by all the loud theme parks in the state. And while Florida theme parks are great, there's a lot to be said for the quiet charm of St. Augustine, which just so happens to be one of the oldest cities in the US. As parents, we want our children to experience a diverse array of sights and attractions when we travel, but sometimes managing fun with education and history can be a bit tricky. If you're interested in our journey as parents and how we parent while traveling, try checking out our blog for some handy tips. One way of getting the balance right is to stop at a historical city such as St Augustine with our kids. If your children are nature lovers, take them to an intercoastal waterway cruise and spot marine animals with them. Soak in the history of the city by visiting the magnificent Castle of St Mark, the Fountain of Youth and the St Augustine Lighthouse. If you've got teens, you can always book a ghost tour of St Augustine and have some spooky fun together. After all, if there's one thing teenagers love, it's ghosts. Number 5. Orlando You simply can't visit Florida without visiting Orlando. We're sorry, but we don't make the rules. Not only is Orlando the theme park capital of the world, but it's one of Florida's biggest attractions. If you've ever heard or seen anything about Universal Studios or Disney World, then you know that you can spend your entire Florida vacation just exploring these parks. But while these theme parks are what Orlando's most known for, there's actually a lot your family can do in this eccentric city other than these theme parks too. If your kids aren't into Minnie and Mickey Mouse, head on down to the Orlando Science Centre, which hosts several interactive exhibits and learn all about science. Other than that, we also recommend checking out the Crayola experience at the Florida Mall, which, as the name suggests, is a quirky, colourful adventure which will bring out the inner artist in your child. Their newest installation, The Meltdown, has kids painting with melted wax, which is an experience that they'll remember for a long time to come. To top it all off, Orlando has a bunch of natural attractions too. Check out Wakaiwa Springs State Park and the Tibet Butler Preserve to see for yourself. Number 4. Daytona Beach Your family vacation to Florida wouldn't be complete without a visit to the beach. It's a good thing then, Florida is full of beaches. So pack your family's beach bags, sunglasses and good spirits, and if you need any help with that, check out our family travelling kits linked in the description and head on down to Daytona Beach. If you really want your kids to have the time of their lives, take them to the Daytona Lagoon. For little kids, we'd suggest the Castaway Children's Play Area, which is a watery haven full of fun little quirks. If your kids are older, however, head on down to the Daytona International Speedway and experience some NASCAR racing, which is sure to get their blood pumping. Other attractions include the Lighthouse and the incredibly educational Marine Science Center for all the little Einsteins and Marie Curies in the family. Once you're done exploring, swim in the calm waters of the beach and simply relax. Number 3. Surfside Miami 
Miami is a wild, bustling city with a lively nightlife, not really suitable for a family vacation. That's what we've been told about Miami, but pay a visit to Surfside and you'll see a completely new side to the city. Now, tranquility and Miami aren't two words that necessarily go together, but at Surfside, the impossible comes true. There's a reason why Surfside is known as Miami's uptown beach town. Decked with malls and the absolutely majestic Sun Harbour Boutique Hotel, families can spend their time here without having to worry about a single thing. Housing 19 massive rooms, the Sun Harbour comes with ethereal courtyard views and a fully equipped kitchen. After you've taken in the setting sun nestling behind the azure of the waters, you can head on down to the kitchen and make yourself a drink. As for your kids, you can keep them entertained by visiting Harding Avenue with them, which is a walkabout district packed with shops and boutiques. If you don't feel like walking, you can always rent bikes and amp up the fun a notch. Also, don't forget to try Surfside's mind-blowing food. We'd recommend visiting Josh's Deli for some challah breads and matzo ball soup. If you're looking for a healthier alternative, check out the fresh carrot instead. Number two, Key West. A vacation can be many things. It can be exciting, it can be adventurous, and it can even be a little bit nerve-wracking. No matter how much of an adrenaline rush you may want out of your vacation, there's no denying that when you come back to your hotel room after a long day of wandering about, you want nothing more than to crash into bed and relax. Well, no place does relaxation better than the island city of Key West in Florida. While every single island in the Florida Keys is worth checking out, what makes Key West special is just how much you can experience in a single location. In Key West, there's just so much to see and do. Not only do you experience culture and history, but you and your family will also have the advantage of stopping at many different islands, such as Key Largo and Duck Key along the way. Some family favourite destinations that you should definitely check out include the famous Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum, where you and your children can learn about the life and times of this writer. If your children aren't into literature, you can visit the Key West Butterfly and Nature Conservatory or the Mel Fisher Maritime Heritage Museum instead. Other destinations that are definitely worth a stop include the Southernmost Point Landmark and the Key West Aquarium. Number 1. Naples for our number one pick, we're reeling it back in and choosing a destination that highlights everything that tourists love about Florida, Naples. There's a reason why Florida is the most visited state in the United States. Visitors flocking to Florida have a certain idea of what to expect. For most people, Florida is known for its crazy theme parks, malls and beaches. In Naples, you get the chance to live the quintessential Florida experience since the city is best known for its golf courses, shopping malls and beaches. In other words, Naples is the perfect family vacation destination because it offers you options. Located in the southwest region of Florida, you and your family can spend days lounging around on the white sand beaches as you soak up as much sun as you want. Once you've experienced the wonderful beaches, you can head on down to the city and explore the wonderful attractions all around you. From sightseeing at the Naples Zoo at Caribbean Gardens to kayaking at the Naples Pier, the fun is never ending. If you're traveling with younger children, we recommend checking out the Golisano Children's Museum of Naples, a quirky and fun haven for your kids to let loose in. And the cherry on top is the fact that Naples is home to some stellar resorts too. The Ritz-Carlton Naples is one such example of a high-end beachfront resort that offers a kids' club too, so that the whole family can feel pampered and loved. Thanks for watching. Hey, are you a wanderer yet? If not, head on over to our travel blog at wonderfullylosttravel.com.